before we wrap up our NBA talk, I do want to get into some non NBA finals news with about the Hawks who have Nate McMillan, their coach. They, the Hawks take the interim tag off of him and now he's going to be their full time head coach. And he obviously deserves it. Hawks go to the Eastern conference finals. They had a great second half of the year. You have Trey young looking like he's becoming a superstar. He's looking like a guy that maybe can reach that, you know, that next level of a superstar, which is so, so important for them. But, you know, you look at the Suns' history, and Nick, I want to start off with you. And you, you had that – I think they won 60 games, you know, like 2015, 2014, and they had like five All-Stars, and then you didn't hear from them again. So is this Hawks, is this run, is this a one-year blip anomaly, or is this team here to stay? Well, it's it's totally different in this situation for a couple reasons. I'll start with the youth of this team. Yeah. You know, those old teams were Horford, Millsap, T, Core, kind of older guys in their, in their late 20s, yeah. early 30s, who then went their separate ways, right? But this team, I see it all over the place, how young they are. And I, I, I right now, I still hate the Hawks because of what they did to the Knicks, but you can't deny the, the talent and youth that they have. Collins is young. Trey Young, of course, young. Herder's young. DeAndre Hunter's young. Cam Reddish is young. Even Capella's relatively young still. Uh, they are a threat. Yeah, I, I absolutely think... They will be here to stay, maybe not to the conference finals or or even NBA finals in the next couple of years, but they're definitely a team that's shown they can do damage. You know, th- they're such a modern team. I've said this before on the show, where they play really hard and they shoot the lights out of the ball, and and you have a combination like that, it, it tends to work out. Trey Young, phenomenal shooter, phenomenal playmaker, and he's got guys around him, and they're only going to get better. They're just so so young. Uh, you know, they stun Philly not necessarily stun the Knicks beating them, but uh, take the Knicks care were of the favorite Knicks in that series, I can, though. I can sadly say. But, you know, they had a great, great run, and it's – I give a lot of the credit to Nate McMillan because the, the record that they had once he took over was phenomenal. Uh, so I really think, you know, they could be a threat. Absolutely. I don't know if I want to call them, like, a finals contender, if that's what you're asking, uh, just because, you know, it's just like the Heat last year. Uh, they were great, but they were nowhere near finals contender this year. Bubble changes things, obviously, but I would definitely say they will be a threat in, in the league to watch out for for a while. I have to disagree with you on that one. Wow, I just, okay. I, I just think that like teams like the Hawks with like a bunch of young guys have all this potential. It seems more often than not when they play with house money and they overperform, they always fall flat on their face. It just, it seems like a thing that just happens more often than not. Like Trey Young, bona fide star, but I just don't like see every guy on that team going to the next level. Like her maybe John Collins, maybe there's just something about the Hawks. There's teams that play with a lot of energy. Like the Hawks were getting beat the first half of the season. Then they just like started like something about them just had this magical almost Cinderella run to beat the Knicks, to beat the Sixers. It's just something about the team. Maybe they'll be good in like two or three years. I love the McMillan hire. I really, really do. I just don't see them hit the next step yet. I think they need like one more big piece because this league is not just a sing- a single star league. It's all duos and trios now. I think Trey Young needs one more piece to really get over the edge. But I, I believe in Trey Young. I think he's, you know, I think a lot of people gave him a lot of flack for being traded for Luca and Luca doing all the crazy stuff he does. But Trey Young finally got to have his moment, especially with like, I know you guys are Knicks fans, but all the stuff about him looking the back of the crowd and, you know, Trey Young is balding. Like he really just, you know, he's. I think he's got. He's got the next gear. So, yeah, like I like what you were saying. First of all, Trey Young. I mean, well, as a Knicks fan, I'm not too fond of Trey Young. But what I will <laughs> say is, you give him a lot of credit for being the villain in yeah. Madison Square Garden. And I, I think people, you know, like that doesn't happen really in today's basketball, where he, you have one guy, you know, against an entire arena, yep. where, where you get the fan saying that, you know, cheering ter- that the guy's balding. And like, like to that, to, to, to that level, like you got to give him credit for taking on that and his play. Like he was able to talk, talk and walk the walk, which is something that not every guy can do. So you give him credit there. I, I agree that he does have that next level, but I don't think that this team as constructed will, you know, make another Easter conference final. I think they need another star and you could talk about Kevin Herter, but at the end of the day, I think a lot of these guys hurt or Collins, Capella, they're all role players or, you know, average above average players that maybe can, you know, for a few games have spurts of good games. But at the end of the day, they're not guys are going to count on as stars. They need that next piece. I don't know who's that going to be. Not a hundred percent sure. Obviously, um, you know, we'll see, but I, I think that this team needs that next 
big star, as you were saying, Chase, to just, you know, really help Trey Young. Maybe it's a two guy, maybe it's a big guy. Maybe um, they're able to, you know, get a guy like maybe Carl Anthony Towns or someone like that, that can, you know, play really well, kind of get that big man with Trey Young and obviously Trey Young and his passing ability, scoring ability. I do think they need that, you know, another star to really hit that next step. If they don't, I think they'll be solid play a playoff team, but not, you know, an Eastern conference, you know, final team of, you know, an NBA finals team. I just don't think, you know, Trey Young can do it all himself really. And then it's, I almost then want to draw the question of, can they keep the unit together while adding a piece? Yeah. Because I know John Collins, had a pretty solid postseason run. He's due for a contract. He's going to want yeah. some money. You know, you're going to have these guys running out of contracts. I don't know what Lou Williams' contract is. I'm not sure how much he cares about the money, but I know he's a guy who's been severely underpaid in his career. Maybe he wants money. Maybe he goes there elsewhere. You know, so it's it's the logistics of a franchise, of course, have to come into play. Um, but also, like you said, it could be good news. Maybe, okay, you say, never mind, John Collins. We won't sign you. Have fun somewhere else. We'll sign someone else with the money we have and see how that works. Um so it, I'm, I am very curious as well. It's just the offseason in the NBA is always so exciting because there's at least one move of summer, I think, where it's like, wait, who went where? Yeah. Uh, so who knows? Maybe the Hawks have one of those moments this summer. Who knows? I mean, I agree with you about John Collins actually being probably the one to go because I do not see them getting rid of Herder because finding a shooter like that is so hard in the NBA. I mean, you can always find a big man who could like stretch the floor and do a bunch of good things. But, yeah, they just really need that extra dude and, you know, like you said, the NBA offseason is always fun. I completely forgot Kemba went to the Thunder like the other day. <laughs> I, did, I checked Bleacher Report. And I'm like, oh, yeah, he did do that. <laughs> so. that's, uh, that's, yeah. I mean, there's always like they've, they've already had that. Oh, he went there with the Kemba, as you said. Like, I completely yeah. forgot about it too. I was like, Kemba to the Thunder. I was like, I had to double check myself. But it will definitely, this whole offseason, this finals definitely should be really fun. But next.